Hey guys, this is part three of the Moji re-release, right? And this is where we start to get into the nuts and bolts of how this um, affects you, how you use this. And the first thing I want to do is make this really, really clear. Remember what we were saying before in the last part. If you have a thousand people on your email list as a program owner who can put your own stuff out, then you make a hundred thousand a year. Right? Assuming that they're average people who are spending average amounts, then that's typical. Okay. If you have 200,000 or 2000 people on your email list, you're making 200,000 a year and so on and so forth. Now, like I was also saying, we haven't done a lot of marketing because we've always been developing. We made, you know, nine large systems uh, over the past decade. So we haven't really been marketing. And so as far as our email list is concerned, it hasn't really grown much at all. Okay. Because we just haven't put stuff out, you know, to get people to sign up for anything. But of course that works, especially when you hand something away for free, especially if by signing up people can access upgrades, videos, uh, training, everything else that they want, right? It's a simple thing, okay? Especially if it's interesting to them to get the freebie, right? Anybody that goes out of their way to get the free thing, great. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and make this point really, really clear because I want to justify that. I say I could justify it. Here's my way of saying that I can justify it. This right here is my get response account. This is where I send my newsletters from, okay? This is the number of people I have in my system, Okay, this is my newsletter group, 2,000 people. Over here across the individual campaigns, and they go back over a long time, right? Look at this, T-Fan. How many of you guys remember T-Fan? When did we start that? It was 2008, okay? There's like 598 people have been attached to that thing, and you're talking 11 years ago, okay? This even came before that, okay? We had 229 people there. Look at this, this says 2011 Moji Tutorial. <laughs> right? That's 149 people there. Here's the thing. Some of those are, are some of these guys signed up to more than one of these lists over the course of time, right? But totally individual people, okay, comes to 2059, right? Here's the point I want to make about that. From this list, okay, we have averaged between 100,000 a year and 200,000 a year for the past decade. Most of the people on this list, I can tell you, about 50% of the people on this list have been on here for 14 years, okay? Another 40% have been on here for about 10. There's only like 10% of people who've shuffled on and off the list in the past 10 years, okay? I'm not kidding, all right? Every year, we make between about 100,000 and 200,000 a year from this list, of people who've been around that long. This is a 10 year old list, okay? No matter how you slice it, the majority of people are at least 10 years old on this list, 10 years on this list, okay? Now, here's the, now of course they're on other lists with other guys looking at everything they're interested in, all right? They don't belong to me. They just have an ear out for things I put out because they find our stuff interesting enough to stick around and listen to, okay? And why not? So having said that, here's the, and look at this, all-time subscriptions, right? This represents how we've been over the years. And why? Because we've been developing and not marketing, which, you know, that's a bad idea typically for a marketer, but we just couldn't resist. Now, have we gotten other sales? Sure. I mean, our locksmiths came in, okay? They spent 180 grand over two years developing with them three years ago. Uh, we got a garage, shed, garage and shed manufacturer came and spent, what, like 75,000 uh, over maybe three years, like 25,000 a year, okay? Who's not on my list? <laughs> there, there are a number of guys who are not on my list. We, I mean, we've gotten sales from people who've just found us, like through YouTube, okay? There's a lot of marketing we have not done. We have a Facebook page, but we never do any marketing with it, right? I haven't gotten into it because I've just been uh, so buried in development, I haven't been able to think about it. But here's the point, if you think, 150,000 a year for a decade, that's a million 500,000, okay, that I've gotten off of this. Should I be making more like 200,000 a year off the list? Well, yeah, if, if we did enough marketing, how often do we even put out a message? It's pretty rare. Like I say, we've been developing most of the time. But what am I pointing out? That when we get average people on a list, and these are just average guys, found me and signed up wherever they did, Okay, I, I, there, you can break them into quadrants. There are guys on this list who make a lot more, guys who make a lot less, guys somewhere, most guys are in the middle. 
But what do I mean to say? I believe Daniel Levis from the email alchemist when he says, if you have a thousand people on your list, you'll make a hundred thousand a year. If you have 2000 people, you make 200,000 a year. This is true. It's totally true. And that can last 10 years or longer, right? A lot of guys projects that doesn't last so long, okay? Because a lot of guys just put out stuff that comes and goes really fast, doesn't mean a lot, or isn't as useful as they claim it is, or isn't as valuable or whatever. But for the guys who just understand that we're in it for the long term for crazy big systems and just who knows where we're going, but it's interesting enough to hang around and listen to and just see, we make between 100,000 and 200,000 a year from this list. We've done that for a decade at least, okay? Just to make the point. What about you? What if we can get you, average guys, onto a list that just starts growing extremely fast, okay? Really fast. And what if you can start earning naturally from that, okay? How would you do it? Well, I'm going to go ahead and make the points really simple and really clear. There are two steps to this. I'll just point the first one out now because why not? This right here, GetTrialLeads.com. Okay, I know the name doesn't necessarily make sense to you. We're going to move this to a new domain soon and move everything over. It's, it's okay. <laughs> you will just transfer everything to a new domain. Both domain names will work. All right. But anyway, that's because we grew this system over several years too. And it's it's been repurposed along the way. And it's really huge. On the inside, there are many sections to the system. Um, this, you know, get trial leads in the back end. Okay has lots of things going on here that are just all to come together. Many of these things will come together at, now that we're done developing, because we're done, and we're starting to put things out to the market. So many ways to get involved. So many ways to make money from this. So many upsells that have to do with products and services. Not a joke. Okay, so go here, subscribe now. Okay? None of this stuff is ready yet. It's pre-launch. You guys who are getting this is because you're on my list, right? So I'm telling you, be the first ones in the door, okay? You can watch the video, but this isn't the right one, right? We're going to put a new video out. You'll see it. You'll get it. It'll be for the Moji relaunch, okay? But subscribe now, right? Name, email, city, state, country. So it doesn't matter if you live in India or, or Pakistan or in the U.S. or the U.K. or Australia. Just put whatever's comparative, city, state, country. And a uh, coupon code, right? And for a coupon code, you got to put a coupon code to give in or to get in. That's funny. The only coupon code right now, I guess you can use it, is this one here. Lowercase e, 971, lowercase a, number seven, lowercase f, okay? As in Frank, right? So e is an echo, 971, a is an alpha, seven, Frank. Okay. Got to have a coupon code to get in. You cannot sign yourself up. You cannot make money off yourself. It's not built that way. Okay. But that's fine. That's fair. You're going to love that because you're going to get benefits from others. Okay. So you're going to want that because that's going to ensure you get paid. Okay. Now, having said that, there's a second part to this. But before we get to that, let's break down how it works. And that's exactly what this calculator is for. Okay. By the way, where can you get this calculator? I promised that you can get this calculator so you can follow along. So you can get it at Get Trial Leads. It's the same website, gettrialleads.com slash flagship. Okay, our flagship launch for our flagship product to create this flagship release, flagship. Okay, gettrialleads.com slash flagship and you will see an Excel file and you can download it. And that is this file I'm going to walk you through now. The thing to remember, only change numbers that are in yellow. Everything else is pretty much set in stone, except for this. You can change this too. I should have made that yellow. Okay. There, well, there's there's a reason I didn't. Let me actually take it back off. Okay. Because there's really only two numbers. There are really only three uh, different numbers that we can put here right now. But it's, it's pretty much available to you. It, it depends on how you want to advertise. I guess you can make it yellow. <laughs> Because if you're doing something different, yeah, who knows what your cost is. You would know, not us. Okay. So let me make this make some sense. Okay. The setup for affiliate advertising, in this case, we're talking um, a lot about robo-texting. Why? Because most of you don't want to do the work of advertising. You want the work done through a very simple mechanism. And you like to see where that would go. 
But there you have it. Now you can use your, the robo texting option that we have. Okay, this is contacting business clients. Okay, guys who have businesses in industries, and we're reaching out to them. Okay, we gather those leads through Reference USA. They're verified, clean, real, up to date, actual companies in business, all sorts of service companies, and some others. Okay, uh, so anyway, zero point zero five three would be an appropriate number for that. So if you put that in, keep in mind, that's not 53 cents. That's 5.3 cents, 0 0.053. There's a reason for that number being there at a certain, uh, you know, being 0 0.053. It has to do with the, the cost to pay people to gather leads and to actually physically send and to report on the results to know things like this, delivery success. Okay. Every industry is different. What are we doing with these? We're literally texting those companies. Can we legally do that? Absolutely. Can the companies request to be taken off? Yeah. Do we pay attention to the companies that we text so we don't keep badgering companies? Yes, absolutely. We're trying to make this profitable, not repetitive for no reason. Okay. Who are we typically contacting? Plumbers, doctors, lawyers, you know, uh, anyone in industries we like, electricians, roofers, um, anyone we feel like contacting, okay? And that goes for mold, fire, flooding, HVAC, anyone we want, okay? <clears throat> now, most of those guys out there, if you picture their website, you remember, you're reminded, most of them have typical websites, five to 10 or 15 pages, not very good, old-fashioned coding, right? Whatever they are, but everyone's in love with their own website. So our message is, use this free app to supercharge your website right? Supercharge your website with this free app. And it's got a link that'll bring them to a page that's going to be your page with your coupon code, okay? They can't get around the affiliate link and they wouldn't even care to because we're not pitching to affiliates in that case. We're pitching to companies who don't think about affiliate links. Half of them don't even know what they are, okay? So anyway, let's do the math for the fun of it. And it, by the way, if you're doing your own stuff, like maybe you're posting in a forum for like 20 bucks or warrior form, that's another place we get leads from, right? Get, get sales from when we advertise in there, which again is rare. But if you start doing this, you can put up a post. It'll last like a week on the front page or a few days on the front page or a couple days on the front page. Then you can put up another one and just every time you put the same post up for the next era, it's going to be for a limited time only, you know, get, supercharge your website with this free app you know, get it free, limited time only when you use this coupon code, okay? 20 bucks. What if you get 10 signups? What if those signups average $500 worth of um, spend per year? Just over the course of the year, they think, I could use that add-on. Now I understand that add-on. I want to give it a crack. I'll buy it. Is there cheap? Oh, look at that template. That's a cool template. I think I'm going to get that. That relates to my industry. I'm going to try it out. Since I can use it to create mass landing pages that I can use for Google ads so that I can get the quality score up for each different page matching each keyword perfectly in each location. Okay. Things we explain to people on the list, little strategies and points that are interesting to them. They can sign back in and buy the upgrade. Say we average 500 bucks per guy per year. $20 ad. If all you got was 10 signups out of that over the course of the year. That could mean what? 10 times 500 is $5,000, okay? This is what we're trying to average. And then out of $5,000, whatever your cut is of that, you get. Now there's two parts to, to the earnings anyway. When they upgrade to the Pages Maker Macro, and then when they buy other stuff along the way, these are optional income streams. Let me explain it by going through it from the beginning. So. If you're advertising in a form or something, you'll just know you spent 20 bucks, but you could say the cost per business lead, uh, you you can, you know, then you got to deal with the other numbers. Just make it zero. It's easier to think it through, okay? And you can do that. That's okay. Right now, I'm going to leave robo-texting in, 053, as an example. I'm just going to leave it in, okay? Just to, to put some cost on a business lead so that it feels more appropriate. Like, there's got to be some money spent getting leads, right? Even if it's cheap through AdWords because you're giving away something for free and everybody wants that, whatever, okay? 
let's say that we're doing the robo texting and we're spending about that much. That means we're paying for text message plus an image that's cool that goes with it. Has to do with the industry. At a glance, it looks like we're pitching them in their industry for the reasons they want. And they'll click either the image or the text. It's basically two messages. So another way to see this number is half of that number, like 0.025 basically or 2.6, okay, 2.6 cents. But it just means a text message without an image. So that's going to affect conversions. Who knows how? Probably going to go down, okay? So just to, to keep a law of large averages here, I'm assuming that we're, you know, doing the full thing, text and image on the text, okay? Cost per business lead, point, uh, 0. 0.0. 0, 0.53 three cents. Let's say out of that when we send them out in a mess, 70% go through, okay? For all the cell phones, all the phone numbers that we text, 70% have text capability and can see the message. Let's say 70%. Can we change this number? Yeah, because it'll depend on the industry. Which do you think has a better rate of hitting cell phones? Pest control guys, probably, because they're in their truck, they're local, they're waiting for a message to come in so they can hop on the call. What about uh, auto towing guys? Yeah. Well, what about an orthodontist? Nah, probably not worth trying to contact orthodontists by their cell phones, right? They got people in the office and <laughs> they don't travel, right? People travel to them. What about lawyers? Very often they're traveling and they answer their phone. Now, when we first opened Get Trial Leads, we did robo-texting through different industries and had response rates. We had great rates from some industries. Lawyers signed up, quite a few. Um, garage door repair guys signed up, quite a few. Pest control guys signed up, quite a few. What if we gave them all a free add-in to supercharge our website? Interesting, right? Why not? See how many sign up on our list. Because then we can tag them until they get off our list. But most won't because it's interesting to stay on and keep an ear to what we're putting out and see what benefits them as we go. Anyway, if you assume this is the cost per business lead but only 70% get it, this is the cost for successful delivery, right? This means 7.6 cents puts a message physically on a cell phone that someone can see. Text message with an image Nice and clean, looks good on their cell phone so they can see it. By the way, I wonder if I still have images of that from the old days when I took the screenshots just so you could get an idea what that kind of thing looks like, okay? Well, here, here's one of them, okay? Take a look at this. This is a composite. It's kind of the same idea. We need a Valley Center roofing company. In other words, this is the city. So we sent it to companies and we used a variable to fill in the city for every different message. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. Valley Center Roofing Company. So somebody else in Denver saw we need a Denver roofing company. Somebody in Atlanta saw we need an Atlanta roofing company. To send leads to. See what we built to drive you leads. And this happens to be a link to a video on a web page. Okay. So that's the small image that goes along with the web page link. So they, they can see that it doesn't feel like some kind of a virus attempt, it's an actual sensible ad to them as a company, okay? We have the right to send these to as many companies as we want. We won't badger them, but we have the right to do it, okay? So that's awesome because what happens if you put out a thousand of these? Okay, anyway, let's get back to our math that, so we can figure out what happens. <laughs> so here's your cost per business lead. 70% actually see that. They see that message, whatever the message is that we send them. There would therefore be the adjusted cost for a successful delivery, okay? What if only 5% click through? And again, these numbers in yellow. You can adjust these numbers to suit whatever you want, to see where things are, what break-even would be like, what would force it to be a negative, um, a negative versus a positive or break-even. You can adjust these numbers and find these answers. So say only 5% click through. Our message is going to say something like, use this free app to supercharge your website. That should at least arouse enough curiosity. It is a free app. And they can use it and not have to pay for anything else. So yeah, it's totally fair and interesting. Say 5% click through. Well, that's what this means. 
this is how much we're spending for an active responder. A buck and a half, get someone to start listening. A buck and a half, and someone's curious, landing on a web page, in this case on their mobile phone, but that's all right. They're going to land on where? Your affiliate link of GetTryLeads.com. Okay? And they're going to see everything that's going on. Check out the video. All this works on their mobile phone. They'll scroll down or hit the button to go to get on the list. We'll adjust the wording. It won't say subscribe now so much or it might. But it's okay. We'll just make sure everything makes sense in the, in the explanation. And then they'll just fill in the form, which they could do on a cell phone. Because it's not hard. They don't have to type in the country. They can use a drop down box. A nice and piece of cake on a cell phone. And then they'll, they won't even need to put the coupon code in. Because it's in your affiliate link. And populates the box automatically. Your affiliate link code populates that box automatically. So they just need name, email, city, state. Select their country. Go. That's it. They signed up. It's going to tell them how to log in. It's going to give them an email. They tell them how to log in if they lose track of it. They can do it later on their desktop. They can log in and look around on their phone or their desktop, whatever. And they can start considering what they want to do. There's videos in there. There's the free product. They'll see it very easily. Uh, then there's the add-ins, the, the upgrades. Matter of fact, best way for you to see that stuff, sign up yourself. Get your affiliate link. You'll see what we're building in there and where we're going. It's really awesome. But let me continue with this or I'm going to get off track. So this is the cost to get someone to come to the web page curious about what's being offered. By the time you got guys who are curious about a free tool that can really help them by allowing them to create a page for every geotargeted keyword they have. In no time with no extra expense. Touch available grease to learn how. Follow the steps. Do it. You're good to go. Here's how you install it. We have an installation option if that's too much for you. 25 bucks. We'll install it for you. Put in your domain name, cPanel username and password. If you don't know your cPanel username and password, ask your webmaster. They'll give them to you. Okay? That's it. That's all we need. All right? So, let's say 33%, one in three. I just, you know, I'm using numbers to try to make things make sense. Of all the curious guys who came to the webpage because they're curious, Let's say only one in three actually followed through and filled out that form, a conversion, a sign up. One in three said, I'll fill in the form. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Now we know where we're at because that's what we were measuring. That was the most important part. The rest will take care of itself across the year as we market and offer the upgrades and, and show people how to do things. And they got their videos and they're going to be interested to whatever degree they are. Okay. That's all you had to do to start making money was get people to sign up. That's it. So let's come back and look at the big numbers that we have based on what we have here. We needed 87 texts to get a sign up. And a sign up cost us $4.59. Okay. How much is an average sign up worth over the year again? If it's 500 in revenue to us over the year, and I guarantee you that active guys are spending a lot more because we've got the upgrade tools, we've got templates coming out. We're going to put stuff out cheap, stuff out medium, stuff out expensive. Some of these guys are going to want to buy big things, a, a copy of website installer, okay? 10 grand, right? They're going to want a copy of software installer. They're going to want full uh, VAR sheet installer use, okay? These are expensive systems, right? You get your cut on that. If a guy buys it 10 grand and you're cut in for 50% commissions, you made five grand on that. Okay? I'm not kidding. That's what's happening for products that are being offered. Now, we can't pay anybody on services we do. Like if somebody's going to generate um, content, you know, a copywriter. Or if someone's going to generate um, images, you know, custom images for a guy's base image plus all their keywords. Services are harder to, to, to create affiliate payments for because you got to be more competitive. Um, but when you do that with services, then you've got to be careful because customers come back and go, oh, I really want this. Oh, that isn't quite working right. Services are a little trickier, but products, and we have lots of them and lots of combinations of good things to put out. Products you can always earn on. Okay. So one guy might cost $4.60 and 
And if you're getting 50% of commissions and he makes, or he spends 500 in a year, you're making 250 back on, on that. Let's say it was five bucks, <laughs> five to 250. That means you're getting a 50 time return on your money at that level. What's that mean? Best stock you ever invested in all year long. And remember, is this a maybe that people might buy the products? No, it's not a maybe. This is 10 years of the same people that constantly pay us between 100,000 and 200,000 collectively every year. Okay? So for 10 years now. I'm not kidding. All right? This is totally real. Okay? Our products are cool. So, 459 bucks for 100 signups. Totally worth it, right? Totally worth it. Do that math, but we can continue, can't we? This is giving us a clue where we want to go. So let's say we're going to go after 100 signups per run. Let's say that was our goal. And again, we don't have to spend that kind of money. You could just put up some forum posts and let people sign up. You might get 100 signups for a lot less than that. It's just robotexting is good because if you post to a forum, a lot of the guys that join forums aren't that serious, don't have big budgets. But when we do robotexting to companies that need it and they have income streams, they tend to be a higher line client and they can buy at a higher line amount. Can you do both? Of course. Should you do both? Of course. We robotext to companies. You also post in forms for the average guy. Why not? We've got things at higher level, mid-level, low level, all of it. Why not do both? Okay. And then wherever else you want to advertise, we put a form in the back end for get, uh, get trial leads. You can put in the form, you can suggest this to 10 friends at a time. You can put in your name. You can use the default message that's there that has the coupon code, your coupon code in it. It auto populates your coupon code into the message. You can make adjustments to the message because you know who you're sending it to. Hey guys, I know you've been working on this with your website. You should really check this free tool out because why not? Use this coupon code to get it. Otherwise, it's 450 bucks, but it's free. I know what's going on with this. This is worth looking into. Whatever. Make your message what you want. Okay? And then put in... There's literally 10 boxes below for the email addresses you want to send it to. You can paste in one or two or three or four or five or 10 email addresses. Send it. So you're not even sending from your own email. You're using our system to send it, but it'll send on behalf of you. Okay? So it'll mention you, you know, invitation from you, okay? Why not? But there you go. So it's just there if you want to use it, right? You might get some signups off of that. Each guy who signs up could be 500 bucks per year. Now, as you can imagine, you don't make guarantees on low numbers, right? You can't be like, if you get 10 guys uh, signed up, then you will, you know, make 50% of 5,000 for the year, okay? But the higher up the ladder you go, the more you lock in the probability, right? Get 10 guys, you've got a chance. Get 20 guys, you've got a stronger chance. 30 guys, you've got an even stronger chance. Go through a few forms and put out a bunch of Robotex, you got an even stronger chance, right? Really interesting what that can mean. All right, check this out. Say you got 100 signups in a single run. You can do runs all day long, multiple times. And we just mean per run, like one advertising motion, whatever it was you did like a Robotex run or post in one or more forums, whatever you mean a run is. Say you got 100 signups. Let's say you only did one run so far. You could do two, three, four, five, six, right? Whatever you want. So then your total signups are based on that, right? Like if you did two runs, right? That would be 200 total signups is what we're assuming, right? So let's just start with one run. One motion. Let's say the percent of signups that maintain general interest is whatever you want. It's a yellow box. Change it. So it means, you know, however you sent that ad and however you worded it is going to have some kind of real reaction for whether people are quite interested, barely interested, or if you over promised and then they wound, wound up there and they feel let down, then it would be a lower number. If you under promise, you might have a lower conversion rate but a higher percentage who maintain general interest way higher because they're surprised pleasantly, okay? So where's the balance? Whatever. But anyway, 
what would the number of active signups therefore be? Well, if you have 100 signups, 40% is 40. If we had 200 signups, right? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't adjust it that way. This equals, I can't believe I'm doing that, that times that. Good thing I'm giving this to you so that you don't mess this up, right? You do two runs. <laughs> that would be 80 active signups if you assume this, right? Okay, let me get back to one run. 40 active signups. Let's say of the people who signed up, downloaded, started playing with it, and they're the ones who are actually maintaining interest. Okay, we're being as realistic as we can about these steps. How many people are gonna want that first upgrade to the Pages Maker macro that takes 100 hours of work or 10 hours, converts it to one, makes life way easier on them? Let's say 75%. Why only 75%? I don't know. Maybe when some of the people go and do what they did, it was enough for them to take off like crazy with that and they're not interested in doing anything else yet. We are talking about the people who are interested, okay? So that's not the question. That was what this is all about. But the people who go, okay, I'm active, but how many want the PMM upgrade? 75%. 100% should, but 75% are probably gonna say, I have a reason to want it right now. Again, we're just trying to be realistic. Always assume some kind of drop off or depreciation of, of expectation. It's a funnel, right? Number of signups who want the PMM, therefore, is what? Well, 30, three quarters of 40, which is 40% of the total signups. See how we're being totally sensible with our funnel? Okay. So then your total cost would be whatever it was. Okay. And um, if you did two runs, right, your total cost is double that, but all your numbers are double. You got 60 guys who want the PPM right now. Okay. Here we go, let's take it back to one. 30 guys want the PPM, or PMM, <laughs> Pages Maker Macro. Guess what? The price of the PMM is $149, and that's totally justified. Think about it this way. What if your time is worth 30 bucks an hour, and this part of the process, which totally takes all of the content, all the text, and simplifies the way you convert it to variables, nested variables, um, by sentence, okay, sentence uh, spinning as opposed to paragraph with nested variables in a stack, okay, and creates the HTML coding for all those inserts for, the, for your website, the page you're creating, okay? Really, it'll save you like 10 hours. Well, if you were doing a project for somebody and you were therefore charging them like $300 for this part, okay, your times three, 30 bucks an hour times 10 hours, so you charge 300 bucks for that part of the job. You have, then you're gonna work 10 hours at 30 bucks an hour. What if this tool knocks that down to one hour? Well, now you're not making 30 bucks an hour anymore. You paid 150, but now you get to make 150 for an hour, an hour of work instead of 10, right? So instead of a day and two more hours, one hour. You're done, you're making 150 an hour after the payout. So is that justified? Sure, that would still be justified if that price was charged every time you did a new run for 10 hours or one hour if you wanna use that advantage. But we're only charging the price once. It speaks for itself. Who's gonna say no to that, right? It's a one-time cost, okay? They get the Excel macro and they are good now for all their projects, okay? Can we come out with updates to our macro? Yeah. You know what version we're on right now of the PMM? <laughs> version 11. How many versions do we release to the public so far? None. <laughs> because it's all been development on the inside of our system. Now it's totally machined and powerful. Okay. So yeah, this stuff is hot to trot for this kind of thing. Let's say out of all the people who want it, 30, once they see the price, 149, how many choose to buy it? It could be 100%, but let's say 70. So then we have the number of buyers, 21. And I'm talking about all year long, okay? I mean, 30% fail to buy it all year long, but 70% do, okay? You got 21 buyers, okay? And... And most of those people, of course, are going to buy like in the first week or two. You already understand that. It makes sense, right? Because 
we funneled to the people who are serious about it and want to do things with it right now, okay? So, I mean, I have really staggered these numbers low ball, okay? Just to be fair. And again, they're yellow, so you can adjust them to whatever you think, okay? That's 21 buyers. If we got 21 buyers at 149 bucks each, we collected $3,129. So if your cost was $459 to get the marketing for that much to be collected, and you're earning 50% of all the PMM sales, which is the point, because yes, you'll earn 50% of all PMM upgrades that anyone does, from all the people that you gave away the free tool to, and that's it, that's all you had to do. You didn't have to market to them, you didn't have to remind them, you didn't have to talk to them, you let our system do that for you, because it will work. And we know that because we have made between 100,000 and 200,000 a year on the same 2,000 people for the past 10 years. So we understand how to consistently market. <laughs> well, your earnings at 50% is 1,565. So subtract out the original, right? And your profit's 1,100. Think about that. You're, you're more than doubling your money at this point. Even without doing anything, just putting in the Robotex jobs and waiting for them to email you back to say, done, here's the results, so that you know what the numbers are. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now that you can do for free. You could just post in forums. You could do this without spending a dime. You could sign up to the system, get your link, take a good message or use your own, go to some forums, either pay or just post for free, whatever you can get away with, whatever you can do, and you will flat out, um, well, earn, okay? So even if this, if this was zero, and everything else held true, you'll make fifteen sixty-five. Now, what is the amount of time it would realistically take to make all of that? Okay, some people buy right away, as you know. It looks like a curve like this, right? Some people buy in the beginning, fewer people buy in the middle, more people buy at the end of whatever a promotion is, especially if the promotion does have a deadline. Okay, and that's what most things look like, right? Some people buy right away. And then it kind of goes down and then the rest buy before the option ends, okay? That's really, really normal, okay? But how long does it really take for people who are interested in this kind of a thing? What do you think? People will download, they'll see, watch the, the video and download the tool. That's what, like a day, for, you know, of activity? And then they'll install it to their website or have us do it. That's like another day, that's two. Then they'll start using it kind of play around with it, Do use our model templates to make it really easy. They can download the sample, adjust the stuff, and re-upload them, right? So they can see really, really fast what's available to them. So you're talking another day or two. And then maybe another day or two to just absorb it and understand the implications, maybe watch a couple more of our videos and go, I see the value of upgrades. Like a week on the outside. Anywhere from like two days to a week for most of those guys. And then what? They're ready to buy. So anywhere from two days in to seven days in, guys are buying the upgrades. Some are just gonna buy right away because they'll just be that type who say, I believe it, I wanna get that tool, I kind of understand enough already. I definitely want it. I saw the video, I like it, I'm getting it. And that's it. So you're gonna get sales like right away from that, okay? That's that part. Now, we're going to talk about the next steps going up to a paid affiliate level because there are some paid levels and there are reasons for the paid levels and this is pretty exciting okay so yeah we're like 39 minutes in and i covered the whole free end of this system it's totally free you can do this by the way for anyone who thinks well that's like what what right through you know one through 14 rows one through 14 cover the free end and then 15 covers your profit from different runs here what if you did a run a day for a week and you had, you know, you just kind of like let it roll and you thought, well, what, what if I wait two weeks? What's the result going to be in two weeks? Man, it could be $11,000, okay? It could be $11,000. And all you did was repeat your message. Every time it fell off the front page, you put it back at the top. That's it. Maybe you emailed a few guys. That's it. Maybe you um, paid for Robotex and got a lot of people up front. What if you didn't even start with 100 signups? <laughs> You know, cost per business lead, 
you know. Um, and what if you had like a thousand signups because you just went that far? Although that's expensive. Most people are going to work their way up that ladder. Okay. But I want to let you know it's possible here because it's insane. So even if you did with just 100 guys and you did, and you kept coming back and doing this across two weeks, you know, you finished each cycle as you got paid enough to continue to grow it. You spent about that much and that's what you get after the expenses and that's what you have for profit. So a week or two in, you could be there, okay? Even when you're doing nothing except putting in RoboForm orders whenever you can afford it from the, the payments, okay? So we're gonna pay as it goes. By the way, yes, in your back end, you see who you signed up through, the coupon code used for your sign up so that you know, okay? We want it transparent. So if Bob refers Mark, Mark, Bob can verify with Mark that Mark's signup is using Bob's coupon code. If you should have any problem with that, let me know. The reason you would probably not have a problem with that is the guy can't mistype the coupon code and still get in. The coupon code must be valid. So Bob's coupon code, either when the guy types it, he misprints and it's not valid most likely, because it's going to be really hard for it to be someone else's because they're randomly generated alphanumerics. They're not in order. They're randomly generated. So it's going to be hard to just produce somebody else's. Okay. So by the time he gets it right, then yeah, he's Bob's guy. Now what's Bob going to see? Bob is going to see how many referrals he has that uh, bought the PMM. Now the reality check is, and when I say that, I realize we created that because it's useful so that you can keep track of your earnings, but, and you get 50%. 149 is what we're going to launch this thing with because it makes sense. We, we may never change that price, okay? Every time somebody buys one of those, you get 50%. For most guys, that just means two or three a day on average re literally replaces what they make at a job, okay? And all you're doing is giving something away for free. That's it. That's your only job, okay? Now, now we're 42 minutes in. I'll put in another spot for how many guys signed up. Okay, so that you can see signups, right? I want you to be encouraged by your actions. We're tracking all this stuff, so that's not going to be hard. It'll be a breeze, okay? So there you go. There's what's going on so far. And remember, you can go to gettrialleads.com slash flagship. Oh, you know what you might have to do? I am so sorry. Sometimes this happens. Get trial leads because we do this for security. Dot com slash flagship, right? If you're given a broken page, put a slash after that. Sometimes it reverts to this and says, hey, that page does not exist. Security thing. Go there. Just put the slash to terminate that folder name. Okay. And that'll work. Then you can download the Excel and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So let me break off because yeah, this is 43 minutes in. And when I come back, I'm going to talk about what upgrading means. By the way, because you can make so much even free, you can raise the cash for the upgrades without a question. For those of you that have trouble, you can raise the cash for the upgrades, okay? Just keep in mind, the upgrades to the paid levels, when you upgrade, that affects how much you make from those guys from that point forward. Every time people join, they're tagged according to the level you're at, whether it's the free level or level one, two, three, four, right? So what you earn from them is based on the level you were at when you got them, okay? So as you grow your levels, your new guys, you earn those percentages from them, but not from the guys who came before. You earn the lower percentages from the guys who came before, but who really cares? Start wherever you can afford it and work your way up from there. All right, having said that, let me go ahead and break off, give you guys a chance to think about this because your head's probably spinning. And then we'll go ahead and do the next part and walk through what the advantages are of upgrading, what it really means to you. Okay.